Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a tactile and clicky keyboard. Brilliant for the budget. It's not going to stain your wallet too much. We have the first player, Fire Rose MK3 Mechanical Keyboard, available now on Amazon for only $44. Now, Amazon is selling this on a discount at the moment, so if you did want to get this, you better get in quick. Originally, it's about $66, I believe, but $44 we have it on sale for at the moment. Now, first player reached out to me and wanted me to review this mechanical keyboard, so hopefully you guys all enjoy. It does come in a white version and a black version. I got the white version myself. The black version currently isn't on sale, but still $66 for a mechanical keyboard is pretty good. So let's get into the review. The first player, Fire Rose MK3 Mechanical Keyboard, comes with 100% anti-ghosting, 104 N key rollover, meaning that it recognizes multiple keys when you press them at the same time. This keyboard weighs a whopping 1.2 kilo, so it's a nice, heavy, good weight keyboard, which is very interesting because the keyboard is fully made out of plastic. So whether it has some sort of metal weights inside or something like that to give it that sort of heavy feel, I'm not too sure. The keyboard comes with a Velcro tie for that 1.6 meter cable, allowing you to keep some of the cable managed and neat. And let's not forget that it does have the quality gold-plated USB plug-in. Moving on to the back of the keyboard, we can see that there is some rubber non-slip feet. Now, these non-slip feet are also height adjustable, guys, so you can adjust it to the angle to suit the user's desired level of comfort. Now, as I did mention before, it has that tactile and clicky feedback. Now, it's not anything to compare with one of the latest Corsair keyboards, but definitely for $66 or $44 now, if you buy it on special, it is definitely, definitely one to look at. And while we are talking about switches, it comes with blue mechanical switches for that nice clicky feel. The keyboard claims to be fully dust and waterproof, however, I wouldn't go dunking this keyboard in a pool, but feel free to try it at your own expense. Now the lifespan of this keyboard is over 50 million clicks. Moving on to the lighting, we have three phases of brightness just by using the function settings on the keyboard. There is no software involved, so what you get with the lighting is what you get. No programming to change the different effects. All the effects are done by the function keys. Now it comes with either you can have every single light on or you can set it in a breathing mode. So really it's up to the user if they prefer to have more options in terms of lighting, but that's the one downfall I have for this keyboard, that you cannot customize colors and limited to the lighting effects. But hey, do you watch your computer screen or do you watch your keyboard when you are in those intense gaming moments? I'll let you guys decide. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review. Please remember to leave a like and comment down below what do you like about this keyboard and if you had a choice, would you get the black or the white version? My personal preference, I want to go with the white version, something a bit different from all the keyboards that I've had previously. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you disliked it, then leave a dislike and we'll see you guys in the next video.